it's such a beautiful afternoon. It's it's so it's so nice here. I, I come down here to have a bit of peace. Today's going to be a bit different. Um, I've got lots on my mind. I want to discuss about how we think as human beings, um, how we communicate, especially who we're surrounded with. We're surrounded in a circle, in a network, your friends. Um, I had an interesting message the other day. Someone DM'd me in my inbox and uh, just said, uh, what's, what's your secret? I don't have a secret. I, I, I haven't responded yet, I will do. Um, my secret, I think you have to Monday meeting done. Monday meeting has finished. It's been quite productive. Let's go and see. Where should we sit? Near the fish? Near, near Pete? Let's sit here. Come on, let's sit here. Right, just had a very proactive meeting, discussed with the team how uh, the previous week went, how we're going to do coming forward. We've got some fantastic deals coming online. We've got a good pipeline, just discussing with our negotiators the next steps. So yeah, there's, a, there's a quite a lot ongoing at the moment. I was thinking about manners. It was something that I thought about over the weekends, especially nowadays in society. Some of us need to look into our manners, how we conduct ourselves, if it's a, a personal or um, a business life. You go into a bar, a friend or someone asks you, um, and I'll get you around, can I? What would you like? You don't turn around and say, yeah, I'll have a double, mate. I'll take a double, triple bossy deluxe. No, you don't say that. <laughs> you give them the opportunity of, you know, shall I get you a double or a triple, whatever it is. Little things like that. You go and buy something and you're friends with you, okay? Courtesy, guys, come on. Be the first one to offer. Look, I pay for it. It's my round or whatever it is. Don't just stand there and just ask for the money back after a couple of days. What the hell is that? Oh my God, that's embarrassing. That's just real embarrassing. You just don't do that. Is it rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Is this a bit where you can transition and put this bit if I say something to you? Go on. Or are you just like pretending? Please go on. All right. Don't give too many chances, right? Be firm, put your foot down, right? Firmly down. Keep a foot firmly down and um, this nicey nicey approach you can, can inch, take a yeah, it can be taken advantage of. That needs to stop. Sort your manners out and um, not you, not you, not, but you know what I mean. Okay. We're gonna go and grab some lunch as well actually. I got a message the other day, someone DM'd me asking about, hey, what's your secret? One pointer, the first thing that came into my mind was, surround yourself with someone that makes you feel stupid. Now, I know it sounds a bit funny, the explanation behind it is, you as a person will go and think before you talk, before you speak, you'd research something about what they might have said and you don't understand it, but you just laugh it off numbers, words, it could be anything. So it's not always about being, you know, trying to be like that someone and trying to be that person that who's the smartest. The IQ level, the intelligence, 
it's not always about that. It's not always about you need to be, you know, it's the thing. You need to be with that crowd or with him. And, you know, he's got PhD, this PhD. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. You know, I have utmost respect um, people that hold degrees and um, PhDs and have all these scholars. Utmost respect about them. But what I'm trying to get at is if you are self-taught, if you teaching yourself, try to understand when I say surround yourself with that particular person or maybe a crowd that makes you feel a bit silly, a bit stupid. Um, the second point I'll jump onto is um, it's quite interesting actually. The second point is go out there and get yourself mind-blowing shirt like mine, loud. You know, just get yourself a shirt like this. That's what I said. Get yourself a Larry shirt. It's worked for me. Why wouldn't it work for you? <laughs> that was obviously a joke, yeah? All right, you don't have to get a Larry shirt like mine and <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> a curtain, <laughs> curtain type fabric. But yeah, point number two being you can always learn from criticism. Criticism's really good. You can learn from, oh, a debate is always good. A debate is awesome. Someone's making laugh at you, you know, someone's taking a mick, you know, just, there's room, you don't always have to feel in comfort. Why, why is it always about comfort? Get out of your comfort zone. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, don't be scared and have that fear of getting out of that comfort zone. You're going back and falling to research on yourself. Self-teach, teach yourself, train yourself and train your mind. Being with that someone can challenge you. You feel that you want to get up. That's something that what she said the other day. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. So that's going to push you. Maybe if you Google it, go to a library, speak to you know, research about it, go and take that trip, experience it for yourself. It will push you. Life's a journey where it takes you through good and bad. There's going to be people out there who are going to take you through good and bad relationships, uh, friendships. So. Going back to my question the other day, somebody asked me, um, what's your secret? I just responded those two words to them. The first one is surround yourself with a crowd that makes you maybe feel stupid. Obviously, you don't have to advertise it. But the second one being, go and research and uh, be challenged. <laughs>